and this is part two of the uh, basket weave walking stick. As you see, we've, uh, we've now stained it and put two coats of uh, polyurethane on it to give it a nice shine, protective finish. Um, part one, we, we showed sort of in progress and talked briefly a little bit about the process of laying out the lines and um, a little bit of chip carving. I thought, and of course I had a few questions come up, of exactly transferring the lines onto this stick uh, it seemed to be a little bit of confusion for most people. So what we'll do is we'll take a couple of minutes into this video and go a little more detailed on how to lay things out. But here I'd uh, get a little zoom in details, uh, a little preview of the finished product. As you see the stain really brought out the pattern nicely and uh, the spray polyurethane came out very nicely, especially on the, on the top ball, made, uh, made all the details stand out very nicely. Um, extra little tip even is at the base where you're going to be putting the, the foot or the, uh, the rubber foot. Um, I drilled out and placed a temporary hook on here, which allows you to hang it for staining and, and spray purposes. It's going to be covered, um, so it really doesn't make a difference if you drill something out. So let's hang this back up and describe a little bit on how this works. So if we go over to the bench, what I have here is a sort of sample piece, obviously much smaller than what we had. But what you want to do and what we described at first is to draw out these horizontal lines all the way across the round. This spacing is determined by the circumference. You want to divide it evenly so that way each one of these spacings, basically the spacing in between here, is equal. Then you're going to take your ruler and mark out whatever spacing you want for the lines that go all the way across. These lines will represent where your drill holes are going to be. What you want to do is make this inner space pattern where you drill one, skip the next line. Here I've shown a little example of what we have. So what you want to do is, this is where you're going to be drilling the first hole. You're going to skip the second intersection, drill the second. So that's here, this one's here, this one is the line down. So basically it'll do this little cross pattern. What we'll do now is take this over to the drill press. Once you've set up your drill press, your spacing of your fences, and the depth, the stock depth, drilling these holes will be very simple. You'll be able to go through, drill out an entire line, or even switch, depending on your taste. And it'll make it really easy. Very recreatable, repeatable, and it'll get the whole pattern. So, once that's all laid out, you're going to have this. Basically, your grid, uh, grid line drawn out and all the holes done. Now, how do you get these, this pattern drawn in, the pattern of these ribbons? If you notice, let's draw this one here. It's going from the back of these holes to the top of this one. So basically, you're going to draw a line out here to here. And then they also go from the insides So, from the back to the front, inside to inside, and you see where these ribbons in the other direction will automatically form. So if you continue all the way through, you can see how this pattern is going to get drawn out. You do that over the entire length, makes it very easy. Hopefully that'll describe a little bit on what we've done here. So, that being said, brings us to the conclusion of uh, the basket weave walking stick. Total, probably about 23, 24 hours um, to lay everything out, chip carve, and, uh, and then the sanding. That's going to take a little bit of time. The sanding, sealing, staining spray polyurethane. Let me grab that for you.
I found this uh, Valspar Crystal Clear Coating Gloss Coat. Um, for this one, I found using a gloss helped out a lot, brought out a lot of detail, gives it almost that wet look, uh, it gives a nice crystal clear finish. And it's waterproof. It's a, make sure you have an outdoor spray because this is going to be outdoors a lot in the mud. Hopefully, uh, on some of your walks. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this little series. Uh, plan on doing a few more. Stay with me. Thanks.